Rob's World. Hey, what's up guys? It's Rob, and welcome to my tutorial for the... Exploding Stick Bomb. Today I'm going to show you how to make the exploding stick bomb, and although it might sound like it's dangerous because of the word exploding, it's actually really safe, it's fun, and it's easy to make. I would just recommend that you wear a pair of safety glasses like these that I got at a local hardware store. That way, in case things do pop up, they don't go into your eye. There's many different types of stick bombs. This one is known as the cobra weave because of the pattern that it makes when you put it together. Stick bombs are in the category of crafts known as kinetics because stick bombs are really a lesson in physics. Kinetic energy is the energy of motion. When you take a rubber band and you stretch it, when you hold it like this, it has what's called potential energy. But when you let it go, it turns into kinetic energy or the energy of motion. The same thing applies to the stick bomb. For this tutorial, you're going to need craft sticks. These are the same sticks that you find at a dental office when they do the intraoral exam. They're known as tongue depressors, um, but you could find these online on Amazon, on eBay. I believe I got a box of 500 for about $8. You might be able to find an even better deal now, but I would definitely not recommend using popsicle sticks. Some people have been asking about those, and they're thinner, they're very thick, and they don't bend as nicely as the craft sticks do, so I would highly advise that you use these instead. So once you have the eyewear and also the sticks, you're ready to go. We're going to start off by grabbing a handful of sticks. As you'll see, I'm doing the tutorial on a carpet because the carpet is softer and more compressible than a hard floor. It easily allows us to add the sticks to one another by sliding them underneath like that. Which doesn't mean you can't do it on a harder floor, it'll just make things more tricky. So I would recommend starting or trying it on a carpet first. We're going to start up by taking two sticks and you'll see I've labeled one U and one D. You don't have to do this, I just did it for a demonstration. The U stands for up and the D stands for down. So there's two different types of sticks that we work with when we make the stick bomb, up sticks and down sticks. We're going to start out by taking one stick, in my case, which is our first down stick, and we're going to put it on the carpet, just like that, at an angle up to the right. Now we're going to take the first up stick and we're going to put it on top of the down stick. And when I do that, I am not putting it at a 90 degree angle like this. I want the up stick and the down stick ends to be pretty close together. Just about like that. Maybe it's the, the length of my thumb is the distance between them. You don't want them too close together and you don't want them far apart. So you want it right about there. These two angles should basically be about 50 degrees so that they're acute. Now, the way that we add sticks to these two sticks is we start with the left, and then we add to the right. Then we add to the left, and then we add to the right. So, to first add our first stick, we're going to push down in the middle of these two. Take the third stick now, and as you'll see, this is the down stick, this is the stick that's on top, or the up stick. We're going to put the third stick underneath the down stick, and on top of the up stick. We're basically going to slide it over this one and under this one, sort of like we do in my Ninja Star tutorials. So we're basically going to put it underneath the, uh, the down stick and on top of the up stick, just like that. And then what you want to do is you're going to slide the tip of the stick here down like this until it starts to kind of come out here. So you don't want to basically go down here like that until it pops out. You're going to slide it underneath and you could probably get it to right about there. Now at this point, we're going to hold here on the left. So we first added a stick to the left, now we're going to add to the right. And as you'll see, this is still the down stick, and this is now our new up stick. So we're basically going to do the same thing that we did here on this side. Take another stick, this is the down stick, so we slide the tip of this stick here underneath the down stick. You don't want to slide it all the way out like that. You're just putting the tip underneath and then you're sliding it on top of the up stick. Now in this case what we want to do with this one is rotate it until it is completely parallel or running along the same line as this up stick that we first had. Okay? So now these two sticks should be parallel. Now that we added this one, we could basically hold down or push down on, the, on top of the up stick here. So now we added to the right, we're going to add again to the left. This was our first up stick, but as you'll see, it's now underneath this one, so that makes it a down stick. This is our new up stick. 
So the same way that we added this one to these two, we're going to add this stick by putting it underneath this one here, which is now the, the down stick, slide it underneath the down stick, and put it on top of the new up stick here. And slide it across until the direction of this one is in the same direction as the tip that's here, okay? So I haven't really slid it under there enough, so let me tuck it there. And now I'm going to hold with my left hand right there. So we're, that's basically what we do. We add to the left, the right, the left, and now we're going to add to the right. Here's the down stick, and here is our new up stick. Slide the tip of the new stick underneath the down stick and on top of the up stick. You don't want to slide it underneath like this. It needs to be underneath the down stick and on top of the up stick. If it's easier for you, what you can do is kind of insert it like this. Okay? That way you can see that it's going on top of this one and underneath this one. And you just want to put the tip of it. Remember, you don't want to slide it too much like that. Okay? So make sure that these two are now parallel. So they should look parallel. These two should be parallel. These two should be parallel. Okay? And then just to keep adding, you hold down here on the right. So, keep adding, put one underneath the down stick, and on top of the up stick. And that's basically how you add the sticks together and make the stick bomb. Now, you're asking how do I stop, or how do I let go, basically, because if I let this go, the whole thing is going to come apart. So what you do is you take the last stick that you added, which is the latest up stick, this is the newest up stick that we have, and this is the down stick, which is right next to it. Okay, so this is basically where we would be adding if we wanted to continue. But if you want to stop, you take the up stick and you shift it down so that the tip of it here is underneath the down stick that's right next to it. So you kind of lift it up and you slide it underneath like that. So make sure it's, it's still underneath this one and you just slide it down until it is underneath this down stick. And that's basically how you add them together. Now at this point you'll see that we can kind of move this around and when you're working on carpet when you interlock them together it gets stuck on the carpet. So it's basically just pulling those hairs out. So now what we can do is if I want to continue adding I can kind of shift this around, I can move it around, it's not going to come apart unless you know this pops out. Bring it down and now say I want to keep adding. So what I do, remember this is the latest up stick, this is the last stick that we added. So you're going to hold down here, okay, and you're going to basically take this one out. Now, where do we add? Well, we add here. Here's the down stick and here's the up stick. So I'm going to hold here, take a new stick, put it underneath the down stick and on top of the up stick. Hold here, take a new stick, put it underneath the down stick on top of this up stick. All right, hold here, take a new stick, put it underneath the down stick on top of the up stick. Now again, if I want to stop, all I have to do is to take the latest up stick, the last one that I just put in, and just slide it down and put the tip of it underneath the down stick that's right next to it. All right, so that's basically how you make the stick bomb. Once you really get the hang of it, then you should be able to do it pretty quickly. So like I said before, at this point you need to basically lift up the entire stick bomb all around the carpet to make sure that it's not connected to it. What you do is you hold the stick bomb and you're going to take out the first stick that you put in, which is the down stick. Alright, so here it goes. Hold on to the rest of the stick bomb. Leela, you better watch out. And then you let it go. Move, Leela! 
I'd like to thank you guys very much for watching the tutorial and for being so patient for me to get it out. I have a lot of other ideas for tutorials that I'm going to do uh, as soon as I can. I'm not going to say soon because uh, I do have a lot of work to catch up on uh, in school, um, but definitely keep an eye out on the weekends. That's really when I have some time to do things. Again, just be safe, wear glasses with this because you never know when things can pop out and uh, I'd like to give a big thanks to my friend Dane. He was the one who recommended that I make the tutorial for this, and uh, he was also the one who bought me the sticks. So thank you very much, Dane. As always, leave me a comment below, and uh, be sure to check out my store, you know, if you do like my shirt. This is currently the only one that I have, but uh, I'm definitely going to be making some more uh, when I come up with the designs, so I post the link below. And if you guys do post a video response with yourself wearing my shirt, you never know, I'll Actually, I would definitely include it in my next video. Thanks again for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, be sure to click the thumbs up or the like button down below and subscribe to my videos by clicking the subscribe button above. I hope everyone had a happy 4th of July and got to see some cool fireworks. On my way back here to Philly uh, from Long Island, I actually uh, saw some fireworks, but I also saw a cool lightning storm, which I actually had to drive through, so maybe it wasn't so cool. But I have some footage of that, and I'm putting it on my Rob's Phone channel right after I upload this tutorial. You can find the video by clicking on this link up here, and I'll see you next time.